Welcome everyone and this is a little chat about the Foundations course 2024 that's coming up and Sarah and I will be co-teaching the class in different time zones and we wanted to have a little bit of a discussion about the course, all of the new content in the course and what we really got out of it as well as the sort of frequent questions that we get asked and that also people have sent in for this conversation. So yeah, welcome and and Sarah, let's let's kick off with a question I hear all the time from people, which is, how do I know if I'm psychic or intuitive enough to take the foundation? So I think a lot of the time people have an image in their head that they have to be, they have to be where Bonnie is in order to do Bonnie's work. And that's totally not true. Bonnie is at the sort of the apex of her mastery after 30 years in the game. And, you know, it's, it's impossible to, ever feel that you could touch that or, or kind of come in at that mm. level and you don't need to at all and the course is actually the thing that develops that capacity but yeah what what would you say to someone who says you know I, I really don't know if I've got enough intuitive or psychic ability to really take that I don't see I'm not confident mm. about that mm. I think and you're right we're all striving to to reach in Bonnie's level <laughs> of psychic intuitive abilities everybody has intuition everybody has psychic abilities but I think the biggest thing that I've seen in a lot of people is that they lack the confidence in their abilities and you don't really know it's almost like you just got to jump into the deep end and you figure it out like you you really do everything becomes very tangible and accessible in the course and you know I agree with you I think it really foundations helps to open up a lot of those channels and it's almost like the bridge that connects you to that aspect of yourself that's already there, like, and you are using it every day in your daily life. But without without guidance, like when you're not used to or aware of that aspect of your being, then it can sort of be like trying to reach for something in the dark, like you can't see, you can't feel it, you don't know where it is. So having someone sort of show you how to connect into that part of yourself just opens everything up and so there's a very natural process that I found sort of unravels within the foundations container but then we've also got things that can support you to you know develop that part of yourself I think we're doing an intuitive view intensive right before foundations to support people Um, because it is I think you're right it's one of the biggest questions that people have one of the biggest concerns or the blocks that they have about foundations is what if I'm not psychic enough? And it's like, well, you probably are. <laughs> and you're mm. just lacking the confidence. But I don't know, you I, I have also said to a few people, just have a chat, like do a free 15 minute free consultation um, and get the feedback that you need. Like we're, we're all, all of the accelerators are highly intuitive and psychic and receptive to energy so have a chat with any of us and we'll be able to answer any questions gauge your ability level give you feedback or guidance on you know what what's your next steps in order to go into foundations but you know that's that's what I think anyway most people I think are pretty good to go in it's just they doubt themselves or they lack the confidence what have you seen Chris yeah no I I I, that that all lines up with my impression and it's amazing how how much of a lack of confidence most mo- a lot of the people drawn to this work really have. It seems to be that one of the themes that a lot of us sort of have that kind of that issue or that pattern. Yeah. Um, and I think that for me, because I came into foundations, I, I felt such a strong connection to the work. And I think that's the thing that I really look for in people is do they really feel a strong resonance with the work? Something yes. in them is calling and going, this is important. This is, this is what I want to do. This is, something is waking up to it and and when I I had I had a session with Bonnie and I just instantly recognized this is my teacher I want to study with you and it took me years from that point to, to get in class with her but I had a real I had a I had a I knew that the work was something I really wanted to do and I had mm. very little psychic ability I could feel energy but I wasn't someone who saw anything and then when I came into class I felt like you know, there were people in there that were very experienced and there were people in there from on the whole spectrum of sort of experience with this kind of work. And I had to really, it wasn't something that came easily or quickly to me. It was something that was kind of earned just through practice. And so that's, mm-hmm. that's the kind of, that's where I'm coming from is that this is a real skill, like riding a bicycle or 
typing up you know a certain kind of document or form that you can learn just like anything else and the key factor for for anything is is there's natural talent but there's more like interest and do you want to practice and learn and and mm-hmm. then if you want to practice and learn do you have a place to do that do you have a forum to engage with things and, and pick up those skills and teachers who can guide you in them and that was my experience that this became like um really like a fascination and a love that mm-hmm. continued to open and open and it was opening up you know parts of my own myself I was becoming aware of all these different deeper parts of myself and and also the places I've been hiding and suppressing things but also mm-hmm. a deeper dynamic of life the sort of the energetic sort of whole tapestry of life that upholds all of creation mm-hmm. and it drew me deeper into what would become a path of awakening so I think the the key thing is to it's just to feel if it if there's a if there's a strong yes in your heart usually the divine will find a way to kind of make everything else work and that includes all mm-hmm. of the kind of sensory capacities because as as you said they're all normal actually our psychic senses are kind of inseparable from our physical senses this whole mm-hmm. world is an energetic world it's it's physical but it's just lower denser energy and we're picking up signals from all sort of sides of life all at once. And usually we're just not aware that we're doing it, but it's mm. happening. It would be, you know, I, I feel the same way you do kind of everyone has some degree of psychic capacity. And usually it's just, you. Ha- there's a different expression of how that's experienced, but it's yeah. still there. And so you, yeah. through engaging in sort of, you know, a lot of practice in a supervised setting, you become more familiar with it. It's like anything, it's mm. like getting a, I it, I really feel it's like getting a taste for something like fine wine or uh, cheese or coffee. If you drink <laughs> enough of something and you get like a sense of like, oh, this is kind of like this, or this is more roasted, or this has got like a like a kind of it's kind of got a, a creamy kind of finish. You just get used to sort of sensing and differentiating things, and that's where the yes. map comes in because Bonnie's work gives you the map. It's okay. How do we look at what's going on in the energy system? in terms of our emotional issues and the sort of interplay between that and the vaster sort of universe and and where can we start to understand these things you know how do entities play into this how do past lives play into this how do the dark forces play into this and these are all parts of the map that this course illuminates and then takes you there so this Mm. is great because instead of just reading about it you actually have someone that plugs you in this is where this is they take you energetically there they they align your system with it. They resonate you with that in the field of class. So you're more likely to pick it up. And then you mm-hmm. can become plugged into those energetics. And there's a transmission that also upholds that. So the, the, the foundations act as a kind of bridge and a map, as you said, so that your system sort of in a very direct way begins to engage and recognize these things, these qualities, these aspects of creation, so that it can begin to engage with them. And that could be like healing work or simply sort of waking up. You know, waking up to your wounding, waking up to your past lives, waking up to the sort of different facets of creation, angelic realm, these different realms of higher dimensional light, the human emotional stuff. So yeah, and that's that's an adventure, isn't it? You know, yeah, it's a wild ride. <laughs> you touched on almost the whole course just in that one question. <laughs> <laughs> But what I was thinking when you were talking actually was sort of reflecting on my own journey when I started Foundations and because I'd been doing this work for a long time actually and 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 so my intuitive and psychic abilities were already quite developed by the time I came across SA. But I really struggled initially with tracking. So tracking energy was a real challenge for me and also watching psychically what other people were doing so there's so so in some of the journeys that we did it was like I could see everything but then when I was trying to track energy or watch another person track energy (laughs) that blew my mind a bit because I was like wait what am I doing and so that took me a few classes like it took a little bit of practice and because obviously we've got the pods in between to really um, develop that skill but what I love is that now we've expanded the course to 10 months like that is 10 months of practice interactive and and supportive hands-on work I guess hands-on work is probably the wrong word but you know you you're delving into your psychic abilities you're practicing it expanding it playing with it 
very regularly for 10 months. And I, you know, and so for me, because I was already quite developed, it came quite quickly. But for people who are less developed, like that's huge. You've got 10 months to practice. Like I promise you, you will be different. You will be a completely different person by the end of foundations 2024. (laughs) I can guarantee you can't do that course and not be like forever changed because it just offers so much. And I think the other thing too is, what you highlighted there is the what you personally get, like the clearing and the healing, the self-exploration, the past life stuff, you know, the ancestral healing, understanding who you are. And what I really love also too is the relationship stuff that we're putting in there as well. So, yeah, the personal gain that you get out of it, even if you have been doing this work for a long time, this particular space, Foundations, just offers everyone so much. Like the depth of this is really however much you want to get out of it but yeah it's not there's not a single person who can't or shouldn't be doing this <laughs> i think you and i are both pretty passionate yeah. about that <laughs> it's, a, it's just it's a very strong it's a very strong crucible for transformation mm. and i think that's the hallmark of bunny's work and that's the hallmark of the foundations is that it's really about becoming free of the deepest places of suffering in your being waking up to what you're carrying and actually and then really addressing it you know yeah and that's what drew me in you know I had all of this I had very brutal sort of 10 years of depression as a young person and nothing else would touch it and Mm. suddenly here was someone who had a a way of working with things that actually made a difference that Mm. actually could clear things up not just sort of band-aid it and that and that is you know it's really exciting and the time of difference I I, mean we've basically made the foundations even more it used to be two years as a program so it used Mm. to be two years to do the program in person with bonnie and then it got shrunk down to one year and then it kind of got shrunk down to six months and i think that we found that it's just not long enough when i took it with bonnie it took me two years to integrate the course to the point where i feel i had actually taken the foundations so after the six months trained i just still continued on in pods with my mm. with my classmates we would we became very close we would continue practicing and that's where i really developed you know more of the skills was really unpacking it in the aftermath of the six months and i needed more time to really mm. kind of eat it so so i it's like um you can eat something quite quickly but to digest it takes longer and you need a bit more time. And so that's what we've what we've done. And we've also expanded the content to touch upon the things that got sort of squashed out of the the kind of condensed version. And also yeah. things that both Sarah and I are kind of really passionate about teaching. And so some of the content that we've put in is you mentioned the relationship module. And this yeah. is part of Bonnie's teachings, but sort of it 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 kind of usually gets it usually you know, she's got so much to teach. It doesn't always find its way into a certain module. Usually it just comes up in, in, in the course of training with her, but how to work with how to, how to unravel what's arising in our patterns of relationship, whether that's romantic relationship, family relationships, work relationships, there's a, there's a way of expanding the work just to particularly look at that. And, and ways to work with clients who have that arising and and, and there are some energetics for doing that um and there are also some specific patterns that we look at so that gets a little bit more into sort of the that i think it's fascinating you know the sort of the ways that okay so how this person's pattern is attracting and relating to this person's pattern and and the you know the kind of all the different entanglements hooks kind of things which can arise as part of that and very interesting and and you know really a way to use the relationship as a movement towards freedom that's what sort of Bonnie's core kind of emphasis with that is it's like how can we use the relationships to become to wake up yeah mm. sort of her, her, her little pun for intimacy is into me see it's a yes. chance to really recognize what it's a reflection of what you're carrying relationships reflect what we've brought to the table and then we have a chance to actually unravel them and with the energetics that we'll look at we can actually do that so that's that's an exciting module we've also put in some practitioner development skills to take that tracking to the next level and that's something that you and I are both really keen on is sort of the technical Mm -hmm. capacity of tracking as a as a real skill that can you can push the envelope on very far and not just to kind of plateau out with well I can track entities and I can track discarnates and i can sort of get a sense of dark force stuff but like 
how specific can you become? How minutely can you follow the various strands of an issue into their psyche? How much can you unravel and, and sort of follow back through all these past lives? Can you differentiate between stuff coming out of the ancestral sort of genetics from what's coming out of that karmic past life stuff? And, and that's all, you know, that's what makes the practitioner more effective as well, because mm. that specificity lets you find the find the the sort of where the energy is most dense and the core of these issues and sort of really unravel it and that's body part of body skill i feel is her capacity to to really take in more of the picture more mm. of the picture rather than just getting fixated on you know the first thing that presents for her or what's on the surface is she's she's looking for more yeah which is really exciting yeah and 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 sort of that's because that's something we're doing as practitioners all the time is going okay well where can I expand on my on my skill set and where am I where's the edge for me right now you know mm. does that do you find that you're sort of in a continuous state sort of process of up leveling and and how do you want to bring that into the course yeah yeah and just as you were talking about that, I was thinking there's quite a few people who have done foundations several times because of what you just mentioned. Like you get something different out of like the depth of it. You get something different out of it each time you do it. There's a deepening every time it, it takes every, you deeper. Yeah. Yes. And so whilst we've created a bit of structure at the beginning to sort of fine tune the tool or the pathway for people to navigate into that scope because it is so deep every time will be different and every time we visit these topics something different comes up and so the self-exploration is literally unlimited you get that from the class but these are also tools that you can use with clients or with yourself or just ongoing like the learning and the growth and the expansion is actually really genuinely unlimited no matter how you apply it whether it's for yourself whether it's in class whether it's with clients and I think that was one of the biggest things that I really loved out of it was just it, the enormity of how much it opens up and just by simply using some of that structure, the doorways and the pathways that open, yeah, unlimited is the only word I can really think of. It's just endless, which is basically what we live in. <laughs> it's living the endless energy and that's what we're learning to navigate. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I kind of wanted to just touch on the other pieces of the course that we're bringing in this time. So the thing that I'm I'm really thrilled at in this course as well is that we've intertwined working on specific issues into the class. So I what I found in the past is that, that all the students that take in foundations have always blown me out of the water with how just what they've managed to sort of develop in themselves from the course and what and their own sort of gifts. But something that I wanted to spend more time on was sort of the tracking of emotional wounds. Because mm. I, I think that's the thing that you, you get very it's it's a it differentiates very experienced practitioners from people that are more at the beginning of that sort of development is sort of the it's just being able to really drill into an issue and to see sort of how that's structured in someone's psyche the various components and really do a very thorough clearing on it not just kind of move enough of it that it makes a difference but mm. to be able to have a sense of how to unravel it all the way to the core that's the kind of that's the kind of clearing that makes the most difference i think for people is being able to mm. is is kind of uproot it from their system and that means that you really need to be able to have a good sense of the architecture of an issue so something's a, the architecture of something in someone's whole psyche and energy system uh, and that takes time to develop as a skill because it's like if you don't know where to look you wouldn't find it Yes. You need to be able to map and track in someone's energy system very deeply and precisely to be mm -hmm. able to actually uproot this. And so what we've done is we've worked into the course some parts of the course that are just about working with specific issues. And the specific issues that we've got in the course are things like uh, big ones, like the dark night of the soul, which is not just an issue. It's a whole sort of uh, transitional, it's kind of like the Saturn return of, of someone's emotional issues it's where like the deepest and darkest stuff is coming up and how can I work with that typically it's stuff around trauma fear terror it could be sexual trauma it could be past dark lives stuff in that kind of dimension and the other one of the other big issues we've sort of chosen to look at is, is what Bonnie calls the well of grief just sort of like an endless 
sort of an endless abyss of just loss and grief. Typically, it's coming out of past lives. It's just and compounded by many, 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 many past lives. And it's just sort of like, and it could be from lots of other sources as well. Like it could be in your ancestral genetic lineage and other places as well. But sort of an endless, deep, deep, deep issue. And those deep kinds of issues, like a dark night of the soul kind of issue, which might include the sort of existential fear and 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 sort of you know the, all the dark parts of ourselves that we've tried to suppress. They really take you know they take a lot of work to really release in someone. And we want to give people the skills to really be able to do that. So we are going to focus on learning how to unravel and work with those issues and to really make these skills come alive, fully mm-hmm. alive, and sort of their full potential. So I'm really yeah. thrilled by that because that's sort of like the, that's the really nerdy sort of deep nitty gritty <laughs> work that I, I, I get really excited by as a practitioner when somebody comes along with a really substantial issue they really need help with. That's the thing that lights me up the most and, and, and I'm excited for us to get to do that mm-hmm. as a class together. It's going to be cool. Yeah. yeah, I think also to like everything that you've just highlighted, what um, I've noticed the most <clears throat> with these particular techniques is that you can unravel a lot very quickly. Like all of the stuff that you've mentioned, a lot of people just carry and have no idea the depth of, of how far that goes through their being and how much they bring into this lifetime from previous lives and what's behind that. So these particular skills, you know, some people take years of their life trying to navigate, understand, process, clear, and, you know, the letting grow process is where a lot of people get stuck. These particular skills can scoop out so much very quickly. So it really accelerates the healing process and you can shift a lot with, you know, not little effort, but these techniques and the the tools that we learn through foundations, it does, it just, it's like a vacuum. It just pulls it right out. So it's a very deep, thorough healing and quite quickly. And that doesn't mean to say, you know, I wish we could just be like, okay, one healing done, you're gone. Like it's gone. You do clear a lot out very quickly, but then it just needs that continuous thinning out of that frequency until it's gone. But you can create huge shifts within yourself or within another person using these techniques. And I think that's one of the things that I personally really love about it is that it accelerates that healing process exponentially. Like it's just fascinating how far and how deep you can go within one's being using these tools. And that's, you know, the past life and the ancestral in particular. But, you know, I mean, through this work of we're now doing coding, like unraveling coding through DNA, you know, through all of our higher levels, there's just, it's, it's huge. It's endless how, again, endless how much we can. But yeah, I love how fast it, how quickly it unravels within you. So that was one of my big takeaways from what foundations could offer. I think you said it perfectly. Yeah. There's really no such thing as time. So it's like there's there's an immense amount of stuff that can be shifted. And it's like it's some of that sort of process is about kind of taking the wounding outside of time. It, you can't really think about your process as one of being long or short. It's just your process. And yeah. some things take a lot longer because you're less willing to let them go. Or they are parts that you're not ready to see yet. And I think that's the that's also the advantage of the course is that this is something I think, you know, that that Bonnie speaks from very clearly. It's she has a she is totally compelled to take you to the place where you are most stuck and you do not want to go. And she will help you go there and mm-hmm. let you know that you can actually face it and you can actually surrender to it and release it. And I think the reason lots of this takes so long for lots of people who don't have these skills is that they're not really they're not really interested in facing it. They're not really interested in actually surrendering to what's there and, and transforming yes. it. But that if you can do that or you are prepared to do that, or at least you're interested in it, and even if you're not sure about it, you're interested enough to you know, come involved in things like this where you know there are people who are going to help you to be able to... to learn to do that or to to, yeah. uh, to follow that as a process yeah you know, it's thing, things which could have taken lifetimes can become can just release um, well, they're accessible very very easily yeah. and it is it's the shadow work I mean that's what everyone is so scared of looking at is their shadow side and 
And I think that's also why I love the Dark Force component, which we've expanded for Foundations next year, is the Dark Forces, the Dark Knight of the Soul, and working on the trauma. And, you know, you've got <clears throat> this, this again, this container of safeness and support and guidance, and you are not doing it on your own. And you know, you're learning within yourself and exploring within yourself, but you are also showing up for other people in a way that supports them. So it, it's, you know, it's a two-way street. So it's a very, very safe way, I find, to navigate the shadow aspects of ourselves and we can look at it within another and, you know, internally. So I think if you if you have any fear around looking at your shadow aspect or, you know, delving into the dark force piece, this is the best way to do it because you've got endless support inside of class and outside of class. And again, it's a prolonged period of learning growth exploration. So it's not like you're just doing a one weekend workshop and you're done. You've got 10 months of this support in delving into those areas. So yeah, there's, again, you will get as much out of it as you're prepared in, in however way you're prepared to show up for yourself. So if this is just like, I want to dip my toe in the water and I want to see what it's all about and I want to explore, but, oh, I've hit a growth edge, I don't want to go there. No one's going to make you go further than you want to, but, like, you'll get as much out of it as as you're prepared to show up for yourself in that way. That was my favourite get- feedback from uh, a student from the last fun, most recent foundations class I taught is they went like, you know, I was actually quite, and they're a really, really good, fantastic healer. They can really do crazy or good work. They're probably one of the most advanced people, but they were saying like, oh, I felt like a lot of, you know, I'd get all this kind of fear and activation whenever we sort of people like want to take us more into the dark force side of stuff. And then we did the dark force class and they went, you know, I wasn't, I'm not afraid at all. I'm not mm. as scared at all of the dark. And it just, you know, it, that that made that makes me very happy to hear, and it's my favorite class for that reason. It's usually the class, the way that we address that stuff, and this is from Bonnie's sort of perspective and her work, is one that really flips the perspective on what the dark is and how to mm. work with it. It's not coming from a place of drama and victim and all of that. It's coming from more of a divine place. It's coming more from more of the truth of your being. And that's an entirely different reality. It's actually the real reality rather mm. than our wounding. So we're only afraid of the dark stuff because of our conditioning and wounding. But if we come from a place that's not talking from that place, then it's just, it's a different game. And mm. that's why we do this work. You know, we're very lucky that Bonnie has has evolved you know, her this kind of shamanic work through other lifetimes and then this lifetime to a point where she can now just kind of offer it as a, as a mm. kind of as a system, as a system of healing or as a gift, and then we can take it on and, and do this with. But it it's honestly, yeah, it's 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 the favorite part of the class. I think probably mm. for both of us. Is it yeah, is, definitely. Is your, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I would because again, I've done a lot of study with a lot of different organizations and mystery schools. And when I came across Bonnie's work, I could immediately immediately see the depth of what she was doing and that I hadn't seen that before. And the fact that that was offered through foundations, it, it, I just saw the potential to learn so much. And and I think also too, it's like there's this concept within spirituality or within light workers that there's something scary or we can't acknowledge the dark, the dark side of, you know, existence. And I'm like, well, we live on a planet of duality and it's showing up for a purpose and it's part of our learning and it's part of our growth and it's part of actually who we are. <laughs> so, you know, to look at your, to look at the shadow and to look at those darker forces that are out there, it's, you can pretend that they don't exist all you like, but that's just limiting your capacity to show up within yourself and to show up for other people. So when you move past the fear of what that represents to you, like you said, through previous wounding and um, experiences, you the growth, I just it just holds so much growth and so much expansion. And why wouldn't you want that? That's what that's what I was just like, that's just I, it's just a room I haven't entered before. <laughs> and again, I'm doing it with support, which is what I love about foundations. You're doing it with support. So it's the safest way, it really is the safest way to go there. But the growth that you can get out of it is huge. And you can't I haven't come across anywhere else that offers that level of 
exposure, growth, expansion within the, within the dark, within the shadow work, and we've all got it. So just <laughs> I'm like, why wouldn't you want to do it? <laughs> But that's just me <laughs> and my passion for that type of work. And I think that's also why I love it because it, it is the growth. It's the growth mm. and the expansion. Mm. And dark, dark force, could, it, it sounds like it could be like it. it's quite far out there, but that whole module tends, there's a sort of shared resonance between that sort of the darker beings that kind of can be, that are drawn to, Kind of interact with humanity and also mm. the sort of the kinds of wounding that really resonates with it which is often a lot of fear trauma so it's sort of it there's a relationship between all those themes and 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 those are those are the i mean to speak for myself at least but things like fear and trauma are some of the the biggest biggest kind of layers of conditioning that were kind of holding me back mm. and um and I think it's true for lots of people. And so mm. these modules really become just huge portals for healing. The whole mm. course, each module is a huge portal for healing and transformation. And really about looking at where does this touch me? And where are my, where are my kind of, uh, where's my wounding and identification and suffering around that? And then mm. in class, we're actually moving that stuff. So the way that I look at foundations as a teacher is I, I look at it as a, and this is a divine intention. It's not just sort of the way that I'm looking. It's just the divine's intention is to help everyone in that class move forwards. Actually, the whole of life is trying to do that for you. But this mm. is a container which that dynamic becomes more concentrated. And then it's mm -hmm. like, well, okay, what do we, what are we bringing? And how can we release it into freedom? And so yeah. every module, you know, as a teacher, I'm intentionally facilitating things in class to help that movement. And as you said, there's a lot of support in the class. The energetics of class themselves lead to a lot of big release. The whole course ends up having a rhythm that takes people deeper and deeper into their stuff and bringing this out. And by the time we get to the dark force modules, you know, this is big stuff we're touching on. And mm. we also have more skills to be able to support each other with it in terms of your mm. classmates and pods. And also, you know, there's there's a lot of support around it as a as a thing. So I do a lot of healings in the foundations classes that I teach, and it both sort of as demos, then both as group clearings. And we're also looking to do more kind of group healings to support students in the class through the process. So that's something that we've we're mm. going to set up is you know students that are in the foundations. We're going to do monthly group healings on all of the students that are signed up just to help keep things moving. There's going to be lots of there's going to be lots of avenues for support. You know, they're all, you know, depending on the, the sign-up options, there are obviously lots of discounts around getting private sessions that are very big. But we we make sure there's a lot of support in the class for people so that we we want we help you move through these big issues in as smooth a way as possible. And yes, yeah, some of them will be challenging and bumpy, but that's just the nature of that work. And we do it in a way where you'll feel very you you know as streamlined and smooth as possible. And that's just magic. That's that's really why I really love teaching foundations is it basically it gives me a longer chance to get to work with everyone to move them forwards in terms of you know, transforming their stuff. And that's that's just brilliant. That's really exciting. We've got a question here and she has said, I am scared but intrigued by the dark force component. What if I can't do it? So again, like Chris just mentioned, there's a lot of support that's offered in the class and you are you don't need to do anything you don't want to do. You don't have to participate in all of the activities if you're not comfortable doing so. You pick and choose how much you want to show up and how much you want to contribute. There's a lot of open dialogue in the class as well. You show up and contribute and interact with as much as you want to. I know I've got some clients who are doing some of the courses and they have a lot of anxiety around show up, showing up in group conversations. So again, you pick and choose however much you want to contribute. You don't, and no one is going to make you do anything you don't want to do. You can just absorb, listen, watch, participate within your own safe space. And you can show up and contribute and, and jump in as much as you feel comfortable to as well. So we have Susan asking, what will I be able to do at the end of this course? 
So at the end of this course, you'll be a Spiritual Acceleration Certified Practitioner at the Foundation's level. And through the training, you'll become very familiar about how to track and unwind people's emotional wounding and the various components behind that, such as past lives, beings, discarnates, other kinds of frequencies and interference. It will give you, if wherever you've come in at, it will increase your functional capacity for tracking and energy clearing in a substantial way. So you'll really be able to get into core issues in a deeper way and make more of a difference for people. For me, it made me very psychic, but I still had to develop and practice that over the time. But it really opened the doors. And then I just, through continued practicing, my sensing and tracking became even more and more and more refined. But the foundations was where I went from just walking on the beach to jumping into the sea. So it's not a swimming pool. It really is getting into the real work and the real art. It's a very open framework. That's what I love about the foundations is that it opens you up to something bigger than yourself. And then once you're in touch with that, you can continue to explore and develop that throughout your whole life. It's not going to cap or a limit on it. It's not that we're playing in a small sandbox and this is all there is. It's something that because it's this open system that's in touch with the truth of reality, it can go deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's why people have taken the foundations with me many times or with Bonnie many, many times and is still taking, you know, rounds of training with her because this always goes deeper. It always goes deeper into into what is. Yeah, I think that's what I have on my mind. Do you have anything else that, from your experience, that people get out of training the foundations? I think one thing I do, I know we've talked about it a couple of times here and elsewhere, it's you can do foundations if you want to expand your capabilities and skill sets as a healer. Mm. But I think it's really worth mentioning how much you can personally gain the healing, the expansion that you can gain out of doing this just for yourself. You don't need to be doing it um, if you're not interested in showing up as a healer in any other capacity. You, you don't need that to be able to do foundations. I would highly recommend if this is something that you're considering just to work through your own healing, your own trauma, there's issues that you just can't quite move through or shift and you've tried other ways or other modalities or other therapies and haven't gotten the shifts or the changes or the breakthroughs that you are looking for, again, I can guarantee you, you will get that here and you can do foundations just for your own benefit, for your own healing, for your own growth. So, yeah, you, and, the, and the tools and skills that you'll, you can apply to your life on a daily basis, I think that's the other thing too. It's like it's not just, it doesn't have to just be another course. This can be a way of you changing the way you show up in your life, the way you live your life. Learning how to work with energy is really like learning how to master showing up on this planet and and living in a higher dimension, living in a higher paradigm. You can learn to navigate life with more ease and grace because you're learning to work with energy and it's like you just... I, and I think, again, you know, without harping on about dark forces, the liberation that you can get from pretty simple techniques, it frees you up to go deeper into who you are. So it opens up new levels of your being for further for further work, for further exploration. Like, again, as Chris has already highlighted, you know, it's just you constantly receive. Whether you do this course once, you will continue to receive even after the course is finished. And I think that's why people come back for more because they're just like, now I realise how much there is, I, I want to know more. And then they go back into that foundations container to for the support in that in that in the navigation of that growth. I would, I would agree. I would say that actually the majority of people that take foundations are not professional healers. They're just mm. people who have a deep call towards understanding the mysteries, and to going deeper and to releasing their own stuff that becomes the trajectory and they're just drawn to it they might not know why they're drawn to it but they're just drawn to it something just says yes so you don't have to be a you don't have to be a a or want to be a a healer if you are interested in doing that or you are a healer this will take wherever you're at to another level it would it just takes the tracking and practical sensing work to a different level uh, which is which is really cool and that's that's what i love about love 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 about this training so much Mm. Um, and now we've got a bit more time to take people more deeply into that and really refine the tracking usually people tend to kind of get a 
the thing is is that it, it's it's something that can the again it's something that continues to develop and develop and develop and i think it's very easy for you to take your tracking to a place where you feel you know we're we're always kind of plateauing to somewhere we feel comfortable and we have a good sense of things just like life you know you've got like oh i feel like i'm i'm in a comfortable place with things i kind of know what's going on i have a good sense of who i am and then life will surprise you and go <laughs> let's go deeper when the tracking is like that too it really it really shifts over time so i think tracking is not something static it's it's a continual stretching and development and this is an arena where you can really stretch and develop it partly because of the supervised practice because of the intensive training in pods because of what we're doing in class in terms of journeying and and sort of introducing you to different energetics and places in 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 the cosmos there's a there's a there's a lot of development of the subtle energy system in terms of sensing and picking up energy that happens in in these classes and it's exciting and these doors mm-hmm. are open you know once the doors open it's it's <laughs> that's it you know um so it's it's kind of a it's it's a process that just goes deeper and deeper and deeper yeah mm-hmm. we've got a question from Janelle what kind of support is there throughout foundations so i think chris you just sort of mentioned it before one of the things we've really amped up with foundations for 2024 is the additional support so you've got the class time and the pods which we have with teachers or um, accelerators that are a more intimate setting for people to really practice and receive feedback on their skill sets you know within a smaller setting but what I really love is that Chris and I will be doing group clearings on a regular basis throughout the course I think we're doing monthly clearings that are aligned to the content of foundations so that everyone can receive extra support extra healing on what we're focusing on for that particular module because we we do we get triggered like stuff comes up and I think this is one of the needs that we saw out of previous courses was the things that were getting triggered and the additional support that people were needing so this was one of the ways we wanted to really meet those needs by providing the clearings that Chris and I will be doing for the classes that's huge I think that's awesome and then there's all the additional support the admin team the support that I've seen students provide each other is always just so okay. beautiful to witness. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. I love it. Everyone really shows up in such a heart, you know, a heartfelt way to because they're there for themselves, but they show up in that way for other people. Yeah. Yeah. And there's people that have come in with deep wounding. And because they have felt that extension of love and support, it has actually allowed them to go deeper into that space. And so that is another reason why I would strongly encourage people to to do foundations for their own healing because I hope I'm articulating enough how much you get out of it just from the people that show up for the healing and for the learning and the growth. It is a very safe container, very supportive. So that's been, you know, beautiful to witness. Um, it becomes a very strong community. community. Yeah, it becomes mm. a, exactly the community for the process of class becomes very tight knit and very supportive. And yeah. it's just sort of, because we're being really vulnerable and real with each other, there's stuff coming up that maybe we haven't yeah. ever talked to many people about or other people wouldn't be able to relate to. So that's the other nice thing is that suddenly you're in an mm. environment where you can talk about other beings, entities, energies, past life stuff, and people totally get you. It's not something yeah. strange. It's not something different. It's like, oh, actually, everyone here kind of has a sense of what I'm talking about. I'm not mm. weird. I'm not alone. And we're all in it together. And because mm. we're being really sort of open about sort of a lot of the stuff that's coming up, people become, it just becomes quite intimate in a way that's very profound and leads to a lot of you know, amazing, amazing support. And as teachers of the class as well, we keep an eye on what's what's unfolding. And usually for students, I, from my, for sort of, this is a sort of view of it from my end, I sort of try to get a sense of the core issues that people are coming in with. And then over the course of the foundations, I'm looking for ways to shift that along. And it's sometimes it's like, well, I know that actually this is more of a long movement in the class. I can't get rid of you this for you today, but I'm looking to work this out in the combination of the energetics of class and the healings 
over a course over a period and i know that when i get to this module say like the dark force module this is going to really shift that for you so we kind of keep an eye on what people are the big themes that people are working with and that's you know that's that's just part of the function of class is to try and mm. do that for people mm. uh, and yeah and it, and then it de- also depends on how much people are really willing to show up with their stuff so i would say i think this becomes class naturally helps people to do this but essentially it's it we we can we appreciate or we learn from class that it's not a case of i'm trying to sort of uh, get rid of or destroy anything in myself that i don't like which is just basically more functional suppression and it's it's just the, it's what we've done in the past um actually it's about meeting what we have from a place of love and mm. truth and in that mm. context things move very very quickly you know you're coming more from the perspective of the divine the divine is meeting life as love and then transformation happens very very mm. quickly very deeply um so it's not about avoiding our issues or getting rid of things or becoming perfect but just more about meeting who you really are including mm. who you want and what you've just held on to for many lifetimes and then letting that unfurl in this process of divine love and mm. clearing transformation it becomes an energy towards let's clear this up let's mm. move forward with life let's become more real let's speak more from the truth of my being and mm. to and to show up from 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 the core of my heart and that that energy is beautiful beautiful mm. and exciting yeah yeah it is and i think everything you've just sort of described there it's like getting that support that we need to lean into acceptance because that's ex- that's at the end of the day what we're doing we're accepting all aspects of ourselves and when we lean into that that's when the release just happens and everything and and what I've also witnessed is that when you can actually get there, so much more comes out. <laughs> yeah. Like that's that, that unraveling just literally it happens for you almost. Yeah. So yeah, it is. It's really beautiful to witness. It's beautiful to be part of. Structurally, the way the course looks is that there are ten modules over ten months. So module one, we're kicking off with the energetic anatomy and Chris and I really put some effort into creating some structure within this first module to really give everybody the tools and techniques and to set people up so that they had almost almost like the framework to navigate through all of the other modules and get some of the some of the basics sort of down pat and that creates a really solid foundation for all of the other content to be put on top of that and processed in a really streamlined way so I'm really excited about module one energetic anatomy I think that's going to be awesome some really amazing skills and techniques that will apply and can be practiced throughout the whole of the foundation's 10-month period and a piece that I've have talked a little bit before but not in foundations is we're going to be looking at the different energetic bodies and how to feel and engage yes. and work with them which is something that has not yeah. been foreground but so- yeah yeah no go <laughs> uh, yeah just to say that, that would be the the, the the first module is about understanding as uh as sarah said the tools of working of working with the light and how we use the energetics and body system the white flame the white netting the energetics that we're clearing how to unravel emotional wounds how to begin to track different places in the energy system and that sort of sets up with our skill set to go yeah, but we have a bit more time to explore things like the energy bodies, how to mm. track and touch into those, which is really fascinating. Yeah. And mm. just to say that it's on the, it starts February 3rd and 4th. So it's on the first yes. weekend of every month yeah. starting in yeah. February 2024. Just to, so that's, that's the start. <laughs> it's kickoff. It's kickoff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. And then module two. All right. So the module two is the the module on entities and discarnates, how to find and release and work with entities and discarnates. And we're going to be looking at that in March, in this first weekend of March, second and third. Awesome. And yeah, yeah. Just to say that if if people all these all these weekends are recorded. So if somebody can't make all of a weekend or they can't make the odd one, that's fine because they can catch up and then there'll be pods and support to catch that up. And ideally, if you can make all of them, that would be absolutely the best of all possible worlds. But that you know, people can people I've seen can can catch up from a recording and then jump back in and we can catch yeah. them up. Yeah, there's really nice flexibility. 
yeah, yeah. there's flexibility within the structure. That's awesome. And then module three, we've got past lives. Past Ooh. lives. Yeah, I love past life work. <laughs> fascinating i find it yeah. fascinating the stuff that comes up i often say i couldn't make this up if i tried <laughs> learning to navigate a life stream and the healing that can come out of past life and just the growth i think that understanding actually is one of the biggest aspects of past life work understanding why you're feeling a certain way particularly when you haven't had any experience in this particular lifetime that matches up with the depth of what you're feeling like it's like I, this is out of portion why am I feeling like this or why do I believe this so when we navigate the past life stuff it helps all the pieces come together and again that supports the unraveling you're just like oh my god that's why <laughs> yeah. and that, that can be really big giving that that context and under and recognizing yes. where some things come from is is it can make a lot of sense for me that was I had a relatively safe childhood but I had so mm. much trauma in my system that I didn't really understand or relate to you know where does this come from or why Same. and 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 this made this this by engaging with this I began to directly experience the lifetimes where that that really comes from and it suddenly mm. that made a lot of sense and I could mm. suddenly be with myself in a different way and recognize those parts of my being and begin to work with them more deeply but yeah mm. so I, it makes it that I think I agree with you it's it makes a real difference being able to have that context mm. um, yeah yeah. yeah. And this particular module provides the, again, it's it's the the support in navigating how to access that part of you, how to access that within other people. The past life work doesn't need to be hard or elusive or intangible. Like it actually creates a really nice pathway to navigate past life work and bring it in and clear it in such an easy way. So... Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, absolutely. It's I would say it's 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 yeah, one of my favorites as well. And it's it's very tangible, as you said. And this mm. this this class we are also going to look at an issue in this class. So uh, as well as past lives, we're going to look at the whole on the second day, we're going to be specifically looking at this well of grief, um, which usually is arising out of past lives. So mm -hmm. sort of a sense, a sense of grief and loss that is endless and so strong and sort of underpins your whole life in a kind of way. It's like you just can't seem to shake this grief or loss. And, and this, again, this is something that I, I had. I had a tremendous sense of loss. And for me, it particularly felt like a loss of relationship, a loss of someone that I loved. Since I was a, since I was a very young child, I could feel that. And I a guy just thought it was part of my own sort of emotional makeup. But really, mm -hmm. that's the kind of an issue that can arise out of past lives. And we're going to be able to really look at sort of getting, really understanding this as an issue, understanding the frequencies, understanding where to track, how deeply it goes, how it ties into past lives, how it's being to unravel it through the live stream to get movement there. And mm. it just, it's going to give our tracking a real focus for that weekend, which is, you know, really exciting. And, and sort of, yeah, we'll... <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll be taking I think it's I, I, it's I find laughing at how excited you and I get over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Other people are out there going, oh my God, that's just <laughs> horrific. I'm so scared. Lost, you and I are just like, grief, and we're like yes. <laughs> <laughs> rich folks get it yeah get all that yeah, it becomes so it, once you get the bug for clearing stuff it just it's you know addictive that it's don't addictive you find it addictive because, because <laughs> all all heavy wounding and separation just transforms into bliss so yes all of your yes. all of the, the deep the when i find some really deep stuff i part of me goes like oh like very <laughs> interested because suddenly you can unravel something for someone that's going to just transform into freedom and light and yeah. that is addictive. I think it is. <laughs> it is. I find quite often when people hit that point in their in their healing process and they're like, oh, and I'm like, oh my God, how exciting. I'm so excited yeah. for you. And they're just like, are you crazy? Yes. <laughs> like, yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. It's huge. <laughs> it's like the kind of thing that feels horrible in the middle of it. And then you're out the inside and you go, oh, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> um, so that, that will be in April. And then the next module in the first weekend of May is the ET interference. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually, I do really love working with ET interference and AI work. I personally actually work a lot with Commander Ashtar, who does a lot of, he's one of the big head honchos with AI. He doesn't like to be called alien. <laughs> AI, AI work. And the 
implants. I loved exploring clearing implants. It's yeah. fascinating, fascinating where and how it's stored within the body and the impact that it has and the shifts that can be achieved when you're pulling out implants. Phenomenal. And I, previous to learning foundations, I would just sort of like just sort of going with whatever, like, you know, knowing that it was there and trying to remove it, but not having the proper tools or techniques Mm -hmm. to get this out succinctly. And succinctly is the right word because now I literally just pull it out like fascinating. And sometimes they're tiny, 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 like microscopic. And sometimes I'm pulling out huge pieces, like what I can call apparatus, like, or coding as yeah. well. I find coding is really, particularly through the blood now, I'm seeing a lot of coding through the blood or even coding through the Merkaba. And all of this comes through that, the AI stream or working with the ET. Yeah. So that uh, just, it's fascinating, fascinating. And all of the different species, the AI yeah. species that you can work with, like that's also amazing. And I think there's a lot of fear with people not fully understanding, you know, what that looks like or who it is. So learning to, again, bridge our understanding into working with these different species and that they are actually here to help. There's plenty that aren't, like, you know, it's the same as humanity. There's lots of people that are good and there's some that are not so, you know, a little bit shady. Same for out there, but learning to discern who you're working with and getting your allies, building a relationship with them, you know, this to me, it's just you are learning to live beyond, you know, whatever paradigm you think is limited to this world, this dimension. There's so much more. And so this particular module opens up that avenue to access so much support. The AI support that comes through in my healings is phenomenal, phenomenal. Actually, it's through that particular stream. I remember in a healing I was doing and I had I had the dolphin tribe rock up to to participate in a healing. And I was like, the dolphin tribe? And they were, and I was, and so I initially just went, Oh, you like the Pleiadians? And they were like, No, we're the dolphin tribe. I was like, amazing. Hi, welcome, dolphin tribe. But it was through that AI frequency. And so that was just, again, I'm always learning in that space. Like there's yeah. always and, this, the and amount of species uh, that are out there and who are willing to show up and help. Is It, it is endless again. And I found that I found through the course party that I had a very strong resonance with, I just had some past life, a lot of past life sort of alien or ex- sort of lifetimes in other kind of civilizations and uh, and systems, yeah. um, either you know, and and some of that's really familiar to me, and some of Earth is quite strange, mm. um, and so sort of part of the thing that I began getting in touch with, you know, found it just found it very interesting to go and hang out with other alien beings and meet them and sort of track and get a sense for and make friends and we become yeah. you know you ended up tracking with other accelerators all these different healing planets that we would go to in different civilizations yeah. and you make all of these different allies that have specific talents you know well yes. okay, it's unraveling i'll go and hang out with those guys or i'll bring my client to that star system or i'll call them into the healing yes and you know if you're anything like us and you enjoy something and you recognize it and it's actually quite comfortable with the et frequency something in you remembers being that and it, it's mm. it's just really cool i think it's mm. really cool it's like opening yeah. up the conversation to ah things that you felt were there on some level but that just kind of were in the background or kind yes. of blurry, come into focus yeah. and 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 in some ways ets and some of the other sort of lifetimes i had made much more sense to me so it's interesting yeah. to kind of and and it's worth noting as well that for people that feel like they really don't belong here, usually that's there's some unraveling to do around mm-hmm. around that topic and around sort of sometimes the ETness hasn't fully been able to well, I'll put it like this. Usually it's a combination of different things. So usually there's been some significant big trauma and issues that are there. And then the ET lifetime feels more safe because who you were then, you had more abilities, you had more capacity, everything was kind of maybe a bit more organized and made more intuitive sense than life on Earth right now. Yeah. And so yeah. something in you bounces off the trauma and sort of leans into this alien lifetime that's not sort of fully integrated with humanness. So mm. something like that can happen where you're kind of more aligned with this sort of uh, 
different way of seeing life and it's you're not really able to bridge it more into your humanness because you're sort of avoiding a large stretch of your human psyche because of this trauma so there's yes. different ways we would work with that to kind of to kind of bring people here and the idea isn't that earth is home and that this is it it's that you're here now and this is your home but really we're waking up as divinity here and for mm. divinity there's just here and now whether that's here or in yeah the centurai and learning more to live from the truth of our being which is which is really home the divine is home and the divine is mm. here it's not mm. somewhere we're trying to go to in the light it's actually trying to live through us here now and aligning mm. with that we find that we're there's nowhere else to be it's all divinity yeah. So anyway, yeah. we work with that as a theme, and and but you're right, that module sort of really opens the box and sort of takes us way outside of our human context and gives us a lot of access to human, a lot more tools uh, yes. and, and higher dimensional learning. So you can learn mm. a lot of new healing skills and technologies from these other civilizations and beings, things that are very different to the way we do it on Earth. But, Absolutely. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, the, the scope of technology that's available even for yep. healing on yep. humans and within ourselves, yep. like... Yep. I've had them pull tools and techniques from the future. And yep. then it was like, oh, no, that doesn't align with what we need. Get a different tool. <laughs> yep. It was too far into the future. Like even yep. that, I didn't even know that that was a thing until I was witnessing it with their support. And the other thing that I wanted to mention too, which I thought was really interesting from what you just said then, is that a lot of people are here and they just don't feel aligned to being here or there's trauma of being on this planet. And I know that that is, that is real for a lot of people. We're all like, why the hell did we come here? Well, we came here for a purpose and we came here for a reason. But when we actually connect in with the truth of who we are, which is beyond this planet and beyond being a human, it helps sort of recal or not recalibrate but it anchors in more truth of who we are so that we can actually again accept and lean into being on this planet and what we're here to do so instead of fighting it or instead of having that resistance to the trauma or why we came here it actually frees up within our being okay i'm here i get it i feel a more connection of who i am and where i'm from i feel the support of you know, interdimensional beings, beings outside of this place. So it helps us actually anchor into this planet and why we're here with, again, a little bit more ease and a bit more grace. So, and I think the freedom in knowledge, there's, again, liberation and expansion. Once you go into that space or that module and you realise how much more is there, it's, again, it's endless. It is endless knowledge. It is endless support. It is, it's just endless. It doesn't end. <laughs> It's just every time I go there, even within every clearing, there's more. I'm learning something new. So this is, yeah, another module that just offers so much. Yeah, it's a cool and one. It is. It is very cool. And then we've got Module 5, the Dark Forces. Uh, dark Forces 1. So we've broken Dark Forces up into two separate modules. So Module 5 is the Dark Knight of the Soul, which I think you sort of mentioned, you touched on a little bit earlier. Did you want to go back to that? Yeah. So so Module 5 will be the first sort of section of the Dark Force stuff, which, and so as if we're going to take, or we're, it's, it, that's not quite true. We're going to expand the Dark Force module so that it's, it's sort of, we can go over more, more material. But we're also going to look at, so the first part of class will be looking at working with Dark Force which we have our own way of sort of, there are initiations and awakenings to do with the darkness, what the darkness actually is, trying to understand it from the divine point of view, energetically journeying to different levels of creation to understand and work with it in a different way, understanding the beings that manifest darkness and how to work with them. We have specific tools and protocols. There are various things we look for and track and how the dark relates to humanity, a bit of sort of background over that. So working with the dark forces, and which includes also things like blood oaths, demonic forces, dark beings, dark lords, minions, and sort of, yeah, other other kind of big, and, and some very interdimensional darkness, which is its own sort of special topic. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. a lot of the evil we can face actually comes from different sort of systems. It's external to this universe, and it's a big sort of part of someone like Bonnie's work is to actually contain that and push it out from our dimension it's sort of like being a bit of an interdimensional bouncer or gatekeeper but the second part of that so we're going to be looking at working with all of that in the second part of that class 
for module five is looking at the dark night of the soul as a theme. So when people are going through the dark night of the soul, it's like they hit up their deepest and darkest conditioning all at once. And it feels it's a very much a rite of passage and transformation. It's when we confront the deepest, darkest sort of stuck stuff in us. And the divine in life is trying to move us through it. It's trying to move us through what's really keeping us in separation. So mm -hmm. fear, terror, trauma, mm -hmm. also the parts of us that are have manifested darkness in different lifetimes as part of our process of awakening we experience the whole of life all of life's experiences and often the dualities of of our own wounds so if we are a victim in a certain lifetime to a certain thing very often the divine seems to choose to have an opposite experience and that's all part of creation's journey and mm -hmm. uh, exploration's life so when people are in this sort of period of their life that's the dark night of the soul how to work with them how to work with those themes and sort of we're going to be doing a lot of healing in that path. So that's why I'm really excited for it. It's going very deep, deep unraveling core issues. Yes. Yeah. I think that's one of the biggest, one of the modules that holds the most, the growth and sh and change and healing because it's it's where we really deep dive into the shadow aspects. I particularly loved it. Yeah, it's cool. It's my <laughs> favourite part. Yeah, same, because of how much you can get out of it. And the expansion that I experienced, but also what I've seen is phenomenal, phenomenal. Like the growth was just a hundred times whatever I thought I'd experienced. And I've experienced, this is a thing, I have experienced it a lot. Like, and I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, oh, I've been doing this for like 20 years. I can guarantee you, you are still going to get your mind blown by doing foundations because it just holds that much. And what I also found really interesting, so a fear, the fear that comes up in people is it's huge because you really are like looking, you are going head to head <laughs> with the deepest level of your fear that you hold within it. And we need to shift that in order to, so that's removing the frequency, removing the accessibility that the dark has that can get in. We're clearing those wounds where the deepest, you know, darkest parts of our being that we've ever experienced, whether it's here or somewhere else off planet, past life, ancestral even, all of that is coming out and the liberation, the enlightenment, the growth, like it, you, your whole being just up levels. And so then the fear just dissipates and you can access so much more. Like even for me working with particular beings of the dark who are aligned to the light, but there's a perception of, you know, that evil frequency not to say that it doesn't exist, but all of a sudden you have these new allies and the fear just doesn't even touch the sides. You are just, you are literally operating above it. And that can help you on a daily basis as you show up as in a, as a human, but also in this capacity, if you're wanting to become a, a more expanded healer or be able to achieve or reach deeper levels of yourself or others in that healing container space, your reach will grow again exponentially. It's huge. So, yeah, and that will be touched on both in the Dark Forces Module 1 and Dark Forces Module 2, which touches on the trauma and sexuality. Yeah, and that's uh, and just to, to hop forward to that trauma and sexuality is sort of like it's it's just a topic which um, needs to be addressed in, mm. in a healing. Um, Everybody. It literally everybody has this. Like even even if you don't think that you have had sexual trauma in this life, when you deep dive into that space of your sexuality and how you're showing up, particularly in that Dark Forces module, like I've got some of the most beautiful clients <laughs> who are just gorgeous and they're not, you know, you would not never look at, or even within themselves, they would never look at the themselves and go, oh, there's this darkness there. But when they actually go into their sexuality, their ability to look at themselves within that space, there's just this huge shutdown. And they don't even know why because they've never experienced any type of trauma that would normally rationalise feeling that way. And so when you actually delve into that area, this is where, again, all the past life and dark force interference, like even through 
it can be because our sexual energy is totally aligned to our spiritual energy. So the the experiences and our connection and how we relate to ourselves and others, like this is all stored within our sacral center, like and our and our ability to connect into our sacredness which is our sacredness, <laughs> it's all connected. So when we have the wounding there, how do you think it's getting in? It's it's accessing you through that wounding and then messing with your perception of self and others. So even, again, I'm just highlighting, even if you haven't had sexual trauma, you're, the scope that this can hold for exploration, self-exploration, exploring your sensuality, your relationship to your sexuality and how you show up within yourself and others has so much mm. space for growth. But I know there's there is actually a lot of people with sexual trauma from this lifetime where it can also, it's, again, one of the most direct ways to really address it because it is it is it can be a scary topic it can a topic where there's very confronting memories and the trauma that is lodged within the body it can be very hard to go face to face with that so this particular module and the space that's created within the foundations container again gives you that support and the tools to navigate that in a very safe way um, for the exploration. And I think that's also where the clearings that you and I will be doing, Chris, can help shift that as they apply their own, as they apply their own learning and own healing using the tools that are given to them. This is where the depth, it's like double down, like you can really go deep within that healing space because you're doing it yourself, but you're also getting the additional support and healing from the teachers. And and we've got Bonnie showing up in classes. We've got, I think we've got even some mentoring sessions with David. David um, is a mentoring program and yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's a brilliant, another brilliant teacher. And I like that there's, I love that he's he's offering that because he is a fantastic practitioner. It's very different to Bonnie, yeah. but at the same time, it's the same work and it gives you, it gives people a chance to see sort of different expressions of the work. And I, and that usually makes people relax about, oh, you know, it's okay to be me. It's okay to find my way of doing this. So the idea is not to become a cookie cut model of no. another person, but to really, this, this system just helps you find your own capacity and to help trust your own direct knowing and relationship with divinity to, to mm. how divinity wants to move and unravel an issue. And, and that, and that becomes, the most direct way and as and as you said the did the benefit of looking at trauma and also sexuality through these the tools is that my experience is that this stuff can get to things that talking therapy doesn't really doesn't really get at and talking therapy is valuable and useful and oftentimes if people can't get stuff from energy work it might be they need to go and do some of that but i think there's what this can shift and unravel in terms of the holding for me it's like issues disappear so things that were there are just they just wake up and then they're, they're just places of light in my system and that's mm. extraordinary and so for mm. trauma this is i think this is this is why i fell in love with this work because it can do something like that where something mm. is so uh, kind of convolutedly tied up in its suffering and then it's like the divine unfolds it as love Yes, that is inside yeah. all of that and just wakes up. So we're gonna, we're excited to work with with trauma and sexuality specifically in that module. We find that all the students and foundations usually have trauma coming in, and at some point it becomes a big sort of theme of classes releasing that in the group, in releasing mm -hmm. trauma and, mm -hmm. and and some of that's to do with being able to meet it energetically. So we develop the tools to do that. To, Hop back a module for module six. Ah, uh, yes, we skip um, module six. I love module six. <laughs> so tell us about module six. Do a good brief <laughs> overview. So module six is the soul and essence retrieval, which is one of the most beautiful experiences, not just to receive, but also to do for another person. It's amazing. So this is where we're calling out all of the fragmented pieces again when the soul experiences trauma in order to survive it can fragment or it can shatter or it escapes so we can create 
part, we can create portals or openings within our being where we actually go to where we want to feel safe, but it creates a separation within ourselves or it continues to, to create to that frequency of separation. So through this module, we learn to expand our awareness Again, it's a really nice space to practice our tracking so we can go and find a specific part of our being that is that has been discarded or cast out or abandoned or a part of ourselves that ran away to, to go into survival mode. We go and find those aspects of our souls wherever they are, pull them back in, pull them back in for healing and integration back into oneness, back into wholeness and anchoring that back into our being and the feeling, uh, I mean, I just love the, ha- the, it's, you get all the warm and fuzzies. <laughs> I love how it, there's a sense of, oh, I don't know if completion is the right word, but there's a sense of wholeness, a ho- the wholeness that you can feel as you anchor back into your being, but also to hold that for another, for another being is, it's just beautiful. It really is beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I love, it's like a bit of a buzz that you get out of it. How would you yeah. describe it for you, Chris? Um, well, it's it's working with the energies of the soul and this sort of higher dimensional sort of energetics, which a lot of us have a very strong affinity and draw towards. And it pulls you into working. I think it it, it begins to, I think I sort of from what you're saying, my sense of that is it, it sort of ties you into this part of this higher dimensional part of ourselves is just kind of full of softness and light and love. Mm. And that's really delightful. And then more deeply in that, you know, Bonnie's teaching that shocked me when I took the foundations, that the soul is asleep. And I went, mm. something in me went, oh, what? The soul is asleep? But I thought the soul is what, you know, the soul is the higher dimensional part of me that I'm is calling me forward on my journey of, of awakening and transformation. And Bonnie was going, I remember sending her an email saying, do we want to wake up all of the ego and the soul? And she sent back an email being like, great question. Yes, we want to wake up. It all unravels and dies and everything wakes up. And I went, oh, okay, wow. Um, but yeah, the soul the soul is actually asleep and the soul actually needs to wake up like the whole of ourselves. The soul is actually impacted by things like trauma. As you said, the soul is impacted by our conditioning. And by its nature, the soul is a kind of focusing lens. So divinity gets denser and denser and creates various sort of subtle veils to begin to come sort of compress its totality into something that can go, oh, I'm separate from you, I'm me. And it and the soul is one of the lenses it uses to do that. And then more dense, it sort of become the, the things concentrate in even more dense way to become the human ego system. So we're living through this lens, this filter of human ego into life. And just like we're going to wake up our, our individual sort of egoic sense of separation in our being, wake up to the sort of a sense of, of, of living more from the truth of our being, the soul also wakes up. So that sort of filter that the soul is, feels like it has a subtle soul identity where it's like, I'm separate from divinity, but I'm still kind of full of eighth dimensional higher light. Uh, but I've got this sort of focus, focused individuality. And it eventually wakes up out of that as part of this awakening. And so the module also touches into these sorts of higher dimensional movements and sort of is ripening us for that. So working with the soul is very interesting and and we begin to get a good sense of this sort of this sense of um, this sort of vertical axis of our energy system, which is this movement from unmanifest love, light and awareness into human experience and then waking up out of that back into love and awareness and light. And we can look at the horizontal axis of our experience as the many facets of our sort of human personality experience and all of the wounding and history around that in life and our engagement with life here and now. So we, we there's a lot to play with, but we're sort of this the 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 ET module began it by sort of taking us into the cosmos, and then this takes us into this sort of vertical stream of awareness and awakening. And we're beginning to sort of really stretch the energy and system of consciousness and awareness to begin to take in more of the bigger picture of what's going on. So this, I guess what I'm trying to say is that the foundations course begins to introduce you to these fundamental sort of truths of reality in our makeup and begins to give you a sort of tangible experiential map for creation. And that's part of class. That's part of sort of getting a sense for the territory and then being able to, as a practitioner, to do something with that. Uh, so mm-hmm. yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool module. And in the next class in trauma and sexuality, we also 
and, and, and the dark force module, we look at soul capturing, which is sort of a different energetic around the soul to do with the dark force stuff. And that's really yeah. interesting and, and good work, good work to have done. The module after that is module eight, Healer, Heal Thyself, which is also one of my favorite modules. Got so many ones I really love, which is to do with really being able to meet and unravel your emotional wounding, wounding and facilitate that for clients to supercharge your healing. So this is where the work gets very deep. And this is the sort of the part where the power of the work is really revealed. And this is sort of part of Bonnie's kind of hallmark of being able to go deeper and to clear more than other people can. And it's partly because of the the system and what she's developed in this module, being able to take people very deeply into their wounding in a way they can fully surrender to it, fully let go into the feelings, fully sort of drop all the way through these dense places while she's clearing. And this is something you'll learn to do. How do I facilitate someone to go into the deepest part of something stuck or wounded while clearing them and help them really transform it? So, yeah. Some things you don't need people to feel into too much. They just feel into it enough to know it's there and then you can clear it from them. But other deeper issues, as we were talking about at the beginning of this recording, often what slows us down is we're just not willing to let it go. And part of being able to let something go is first being willing to meet it. Imagine you have all of these issues. Imagine thousands of lifetimes full of suppressed issues that you've kind of stuck in various parts of your psyche. No, I don't want to look at that trauma. I don't want to think about that loss. I don't want to deal with the anger around that thing that happened 18 lifetimes ago. And it's pocketed in the psyche. And before we can unravel it, you actually need to get in touch with it and to meet it as an issue and to let go and unravel and feel whatever you need to. And then the practitioner is able to go deeper. And this module is about being able to facilitate that as a movement. And it's an art. It's an actual healing art to be able to do that. And as you, and it's a lot of sort of skills as a practitioner have begun to be developed there, which is, I think, you know, a big, uh, an exciting area in the course. Mm. The other piece that I like about this particular module, because, you know, the whole course we're practicing on other people and whilst we're, you know, doing the self-healing and the exploration, this is a really amplified module on looking at ourselves. And so what I find, one of the benefits of doing that is that you're taking these tools and techniques you can really refine it because the level of objectivity that you then need to apply that to yourself, you're only going to gain, that's only going to benefit you when you then show up for other people again, because you've refined that to another level of detachment, of objectivity, of just looking at frequencies without the judgment, without the attachment, without the addiction to whatever the feeling is or the emotion so this particular module, as a bit of a byproduct, can really help you refine your skills. It's just, it's like you can't avoid that because yeah. it comes through in the self-reflection and the and understanding that, and the letting go. And, and what I've found is that, you know, we really, our capacity to really meet someone else's issues and really be with them and present with them is proportional to, to what we can really do in ourselves. And, and this yeah. is the area where, we find that you know there are there tend to be blind spots or places that we're we're not so available. Is if I've got a big issue around something, it can be say if if my client has the same kind of issue I do, it may be more difficult for me to be there with that in a way mm-hmm. where it's not more noisy for me to be. Well, you're looking at it with your filters. You've still got all of yeah. your filters that haven't been processed and released. So then, how you're showing up in that space is through your wounding which is fine that's okay that's part of the process but when you learn to deep dive into your stuff clear it process it and again hit that level of neutral neutrality I always struggle with that word within yourself you become even more refined and neutral for others in that space which makes you it, it again it just is a constant up leveling yeah. of your skills yeah and your capacity to heal yourself, but also other people. So that's one of the pieces I really love about that particular module. Yeah. And that, that was that was something, and, and you don't always realise the impact of something like that, but when I was when I began to deal with more of the layers of my trauma, I found I was suddenly so much more available in life and really available in my healing practice. Mm. And I was so, so much more so much more present for people in a different in a different way it's not that i wasn't present before but it's like you know there's a maybe not you know out of your capacity 
we're not actually, our system is, imagine there's all this background conditioning. It says there's all this past life fear kind of doing this all the time. And whenever you're doing anything, it's kind of there running in the background. And whatever your, whatever energetics and, and, and sort of uh, space you have in your system, some of it's taken up with this. So you just, you, you have whatever capacity, but you don't have whatever the rest of that is, is doing. And when that falls away or silences, and you suddenly have all of this energetic support and presence for the people you're working with, just incredible. Mm. And, and nothing and in me you, was looking away from it either. It's yes. And then you were just there as a witness. You are literally just witnessing. There is no judgment. There's no projection. You're just witnessing and holding space. And then it's just deciphering and um, unraveling and looking at the frequencies. Mm. And there's nothing interfering with within your filters of what you're witnessing. So, again, it's just clarity. And, and it just offers become- more clarity. You become an opening for the divine. So that's yes. that's the that's the part of this course that is sort of runs through it as a theme. And then we touch upon it probably in that last module, module 10, self-mastery and practitioner skills, which is is about looking at some of the things we're talking about in terms of blind spots and, and developing tracking and learning to work energetically with groups and other sort of mm. practitioner skills that we'll take further. But also this sort of something what we just mentioned, that that really you become a your work becomes a portal for the divine to work through you. And that that's the core of healing. That's actually mm. the core of awakening. It's the core of life. Mm. And it powers up what you can do so life. much. Yeah. And it and it, it takes your work to the next level. And and mm. you know, what I used to find was that there would be things that I could technically clear with my skills and my energetics. I'd be able to do all sorts of things. But sometimes you'd run into something that was bigger than what you could you could handle. And you would have to surrender to the divine. The divine mm. and surrender isn't just like, okay, I'm going to give up and let someone else do this. Surrender is fully engaged. Surrender mm. is I'm fully there in the present with this. I'm mm. fully open to life and I'm engaged and actively being part of life. And I'm surrendering into the divine truth of my being and what the divine will do through your system as part of healing. Mm. That's the development that we're looking for. Is So we develop all of these tangible, practical skills, the tracking, the sensing, the clearing, but we are also developing alongside that the capacity to surrender to the divine's movement, the divine intention for life, which is not what I want, what the ego wants, but it's actually the, it's even better it's the, mm. it's actually what the divine wants to do out of love and mm. and can bring all of this power and support for as a movement of transformation mm. so when you were mentioning sort of like you know witnessing in space it's like what comes through that space it's like sort of surrendering the space the divine takes over yes. and arises as as yeah. healing or transformation yeah. or you know miracle really mm. um yeah. well come back to something we talked about earlier, which is the, the module nine, which is on relationships. So relationships uh, show us where we're stuck and they help us to wake up from our deepest layers of wounding. We're going to be learning to track and release the patterns of wounding showing up in all our relationships, whether that's yeah. familial, romantic or ancestral. So yeah, this module is also looking at those ancestral ancestral genetic streams of energy how to work with that how to clear that and also the relationship patterns that we're bringing into our romantic life where those are coming from how to work with that how to work mm. with the different phenomena of relationships books chords mm. resonances all the different areas that, that sort of light up and, and and how to really learn and be in relationship energetically mm. in a way that sort of makes things work better yeah yeah and, and brings more sort of context yeah Yeah, I think one of the things I also really love about this particular module is that it really helps us navigate that victim consciousness because you begin to understand where you're getting triggered, how you're projecting, and how this other person in the relationship, whoever it is, whether it's a work colleague, mum and dad, brother, sister, partner, how they are showing up to trigger us. This is happening for us to learn and grow. So then we no longer are like, oh my God, you asshole, you did this. I'm so, I'm so mad. You made me so mad. Why did you make me do that? Instead, we actually look at it and take responsibility and accountability for how we are showing up, how we react. That's 
our choice. We ha- That's what we have control of. So looking at the triggers and what that is bringing forward within us to heal, we then all of a sudden realize our power, how much power we have, how much choice we have in how we show up within ourselves and life and relationships. And if we don't like that, then we can heal the wounding that's getting triggered and then learn to show up in a new way. So then we can start to clear those outdated beliefs. We can clear the patterning. We can clear the conditioning that is coming through in a very reaction, reactive way and then shift, shift our perspective, shift our beliefs mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. how we want to respond to life so we can start to create life on our terms, how we want to live with more joy and peace. And so that is, you know, that's a big part of the learning yeah. through relationships. And then you're applying all of these amazing tools and techniques that you learn from foundations into your everyday life with your daily interactions with yourself, but also with other people. So that I'm super excited about relationships. I think there's just so yeah. much to learn about that yeah. One. yeah, absolutely. They, they tend to be the big places that we we do a lot of our big processing. And even if you're interested in spiritual work, people tend to do a lot of their deep unraveling through relationships. Mm. And as you said, what they bring up, it's like it's no accident. It perfectly, no. life is helping you to unravel exactly what you have and it uses mm. all these characters to do it and it just touches the perfect places in us. And we, of course, as you're right, we blame everyone else around us, but really it's it's just touching something that was already there, that's mm. already set up that way. And then we yeah. can use it to actually become free, to actually yeah. let go of these deep patterns and mm. magic, just total magic. <laughs> well said, <laughs> you said that so beautifully. <laughs> really, really like it. Um, and the last module that we were touching a little bit self-mastery and practitioner skills so practitioner skills what does that mean practitioner skills well I think we liked I think we did this to circle back to what we set up in the beginning which was the framework in how to pull all of these pieces together so this is now coming into learning how to show up with a client and how to apply the techniques how to apply the learning in a way that can really refine your skills to a professional level. It's also being able to identify your blind spots and looking at where like your scope for growth and what that looks like. That's going to be different for everybody. But what I love, again, the this, the community that's created out of this space, like you're not doing that on your own. So, you know, we don't know what we don't know. So we've got each other to come up against to expand and grow in that, in that area in, again, in a very safe, supportive, nurturing way. So the opportunity that's held within this to up level your skill sets to apply the teachings to to new levels and the self mastery so this is again coming off the relationship piece where we learn more about ourselves and how we're showing up and this is absolutely can be extended to our clients and our professionalism and how we hold space for other people we can't do that until we've got that right here so the stronger we can make it here the more we have to offer others so it sort of just helps tie everything that we've put into foundations it brings it all together and then up levels Mm -hmm. and if there are spaces within that that you still have again room for growth or undeveloped areas we can work through that either as a group or it can be identified individually mm. um, for that to get you know hashed out and um, developed and refined and and you will have been working with people to help clear them from the first module so you're going to be learning how to work with someone for from the beginning of the course in terms of clearing and tracking but by the time we get here you'll have enough experience or a lot of experience and we'll be able to really take sort of some of those skill sets into a, as you said, a more professional kind of level and also do some just very advanced tracking and sensing work. Mm-hmm. One of the things mm-hmm. I want to teach in that class is how to energetically work with groups. So group clearings, how to do a group clearing with a group and also things like how to track other practitioners, how to take whatever your sensing is, how to learn to sense in different ways that aren't just sort of what you've landed on as your normal sort of sensory yeah kind of set up to give you a few more options for when you sometimes we we need to have other ways of working so that if one way doesn't if you can't quite get what you're looking for yeah it doesn't get the results another way of getting in there so yeah sort of expanding and fine-tuning and refining those skills so we're going to do a huge amount of growth and then we want to refine and consolidate them into a very functional core of kind of healing mm-hmm. work and and just by that top out in the course 
usually there's some fascinating things that are coming out of people and really great mm. questions and sort of like meeting that real sort of higher dimensional edge of energy clearing where it's like you know working with future selves and working with kind of you know the the, the really interesting stuff that's just sort of like you need a certain level of tracking to to get into mm. that but once you're there it's just a huge huge door of possibility and, and development yeah mm. Oh. Well, this has been really cool. So, uh, this has been a bit of a, a bit of a chat about the foundations 2024 that we're going to be teaching, and I'm going to be teaching the European and North American sort of side of that. And Sarah, you're going to be teaching the Australian, New Zealand, Asian kind of yes. quadrant. Um, yeah. So we're really excited. And we're going to also combine the classes for pods. So, if no matter who you learn with, you will be in pods with the other students and the other sort of cohort. And we're going to be teaching that side by side. So there's going to be loads of people to practice with, which will be really cool. We'll probably do some crossover stuff between the two of us as well, so that there's a shared flavor for the course. And Bonnie's going to come in and do some teaching in both of our classes too, which will be fucking awesome. Yes, that'll be amazing. Uh, and the sessions with David, the mentoring. Yes. There'll, be, there'll be classes with David, a little series of that. We've got the clearings that Chris and I are doing. And there's also the other thing I wanted to mention too was even even with everything that we've just sort of um, shared with the extra support that is available and that is built into the foundations, there's also promotions to book private sessions with the accelerators, whether it be Chris and I or any of any of the team, there's discounts that are offered to the students, to foundation students for that one-on-one additional support. So that's another bonus. Instead of paying full price for private sessions, you get a discount as a, as a foundation student. And then there's also the mentoring student packages that Chris and I are offering. So that gives you, you know, 12 months of sessions that you can utilize alongside the foundations course and that's they're they're amazing that again offers a discount but you've got that regular contact the regular mentoring coaching healings if that's what you just want it for if you just want it for a regular healing so there's lots of additional support and discounts when you get into the program it opens up more um, resources for you to access as well so they're really they have found as sa have done an amazing job at really pumping up the support that's provided throughout the foundation's course yeah so yeah very very exciting right we're we're all really looking forward to it and this is this is a this is the sort of the foundations that we wanted to teach it's a deeper a deeper transformation and a deeper training Uh, a bit more like how it would have been bonnie teaching it for a year's time in person this is our sort of Mm. more of an equivalent of that um in terms of the sort of deeper unraveling and 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 kind of like focus we're bringing to it there's going to be some big discounts coming up and black friday is going to be the early bird pricing for the foundations is going to be released and i think it's going to be like a two thousand dollar discount so yeah it's huge well worth taking advantage of and there's also something we discussed, which is the support package, which will involve, you know, things like free clearings with me and Sarah and is worth checking out if you're looking for more, 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 just more support in taking the class, more energetic support. Although the class is going to have a lot of that anyway that we just outlined. And we are looking forward to doing some clearings around the foundation's topics that are coming up. So we're going to, me and Sarah are going to do some group clearings coming up over the next few months that are focused on the modules of the class. So you'll get a real sense of how these energetics, things like entities and dark forces and alien interference really impact you. And also a sense of the work that you can learn. So we're going to do, these are just going to be like the normal group clearings. And I think the The next one that we're going to run is going to be focused on entities and will be on the 11th of November. The one following that will be particularly looking at unraveling past lives, and that will be on the 25th of November. And then the one following that will be Dark Forces, and we'll run that on the 9th of December. And so those are the next ones coming up, and we will likely be running some more after that. But 
we're so excited to to share it's going to be a lot of fun and yeah this stuff is crazy powerful it really makes such a big shift that's why i fell in love with this work and we're looking forward to having you join us Um, yes and there's also i think i mentioned at the beginning the intuitive view intensive so that's being set up for people just as an additional support going into foundations if you want to refresh your skill sets of your psychic and intuitive abilities if you just want to do a quick deep dive to make sure you're good to go it's we really just wanted to create a space for people to sort of jump in and get practicing, build their confidence. It's not the full intuitive course that we'll be running early next year, but this was really just as a support to allow people to sort of play in this space before they go into foundations so that they're that they're confident and have some of the basics going into it. So there's that as well. Yeah, very cool. And for practical stuff, you know, there's often, you know, we need things like payment plans to be able to take courses. Yes. So this this year is no different. There'll be a very yeah. depth payment plan that will make it much easier to to manage. And and if you're will we have that set up. And if you're interested in that, just email over at spiritualacceleration.com. And that's that's easy for us to 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 arrange and we're happy to do it. Often mm-hmm. often we just need it need something like that to be able to take the class and, and yes. make it manageable. Yeah. Um, makes it more accessible yeah. and the other thing too is the f- the free 15 minute consultation so if you've got specific questions that we haven't answered here today or you would like to just come up against an accelerator to say is this right for me this is what i would like to get out of something this is, this is my objective this is what i would like to achieve is it foundations or is it something else or can this get addressed I would strongly recommend booking a 15-minute consultation so that you can have all of your specific questions answered. Anyone on the team can help you with that. But, of course, Chris and I, during foundations, if it's anything foundations-specific, but everyone has done foundations on the team and several of the other courses. So you've got an entire team with a wealth of knowledge in Bonnie's teachings and the SA teachings and yeah, I would strongly recommend a 15-minute consultation just so that you can get your specific needs met or questions yeah. answered. And, and me and Sarah love to meet people coming into our classes. It's really nice. Yeah. For us so just come, just come and say hello. We love we love saying hello to people, even if you're just thinking about taking it and you're not sure whether you will yeah. or not, whether it's the right time. We love we love having a chat and, and just, just mm. meeting you. So it's, you're yeah. always welcome to do that. Don't feel that yeah, it's it's and it's and I think it's nice to get for for people to have a sense of talking to the teacher of a class before they go in. You know, I think that's yeah, nice definitely you know, feeling for it. Yeah, yeah, um, and just knowing what the match is like, the energetic match yeah. and the connection, and you might find that there's one that you prefer. I mean, again, you'll have access to both of us and the team. But and the other thing that I say to a lot of people because they're like, oh, should I do this? And no one outside of you can tell you what you should be doing. But when you tune into what the resonance is for you. Like for me, when I'm looking at a course or I'm looking at a teacher, I want to see what the the growth is. Like what's the scope of growth? How much am I going to get out of this? Is it beneficial? Am I, how much am I going to get out of it? So then intuitively look at that, feel into that, feel into the, the foundations container and the growth. How much growth does this hold for me? This, the connection to the teacher or the connection to the support, how much is in, and you'll feel it just again, it's you playing with your intuitive or psychic abilities to feel the energy and the scope that it offers you so do that I would say do that with anything but absolutely you know do that here with foundations and see like for you really feel into what you can gain I can promise you it's a lot um and and I also think even as throughout this when we were talking about all the modules because it's been reworked and developed and expanded, you know, even previous students, there's so much there for previous students to go back and deep dive again and explore in more ways. And that's what I think I'm really excited about 2024 is the expansion of the content and the space that's that's provided, but also the support and the resources, the next level. So that's really yeah. exciting. And I'm yeah. and I'm really honored to be part of that, but also to be a witness to everyone who is showing up for themselves in that way. So yeah. yeah absolutely. It's a it's a wild ride and we'd love to have you there. That just it's yeah. such it's such a cool, it's an awesome, awesome class. And it's certified. We'll we'll now 
people that yes. take us are, are certified spiritual acceleration practitioners. And you know, if you work in that world, that can be helpful for 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 all sorts of things. Yeah, I think that yeah, just to say get in touch with me or Sarah if there's any other questions and we'll look forward to to meeting you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for hanging out with us. It's been it's been fun. It's always fun hanging out with Chris <laughs> uh, and talking about the foundation's content. I think you and I could talk about this all day long. <laughs> we really could. And look at our amazing sofa background. So I know. I was like, let's just have that whiskey. Out. Let's finish with our whiskey. <laughs> I know. I've been looking at that popcorn, going like, Whoa. oh, yes. Yeah, so I, I reach into the astral. Uh, let's let's hit the couch with our whiskey and popcorn. That's it. <laughs> we can debrief. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Bye, everyone. Lovely to see you. Bye. See you soon.